I get asked all the time about what to add into your training to get better at dunking. And in this video, I'm not gonna give the obvious and sometimes snarky answer, which is just to go practice dunking more. And that is true, but you can do more and you can do other things in your training to aid in this pursuit. I wouldn't recommend putting a lot of effort into things like depth jumps, loaded jumps, counter movement jumps, single effort box jumps, single effort hurdle jumps. Those things can serve a purpose for general training, but they're not gonna move the needle at all if you wanna get better at dunking. The type of jumping you'll want to include in your training are jumps that are preceded by your center of mass moving forward, preferably with some speed. Dunking is influenced by your ability to carry your horizontal momentum into a vertical impulse and vertical displacement. So incorporate more approach jumps. And do these approach jumps with an emphasis on not letting yourself slow down before you actually jump. Carry your speed into the jump. Other things you can probably do more of is plyos that are done for distance, not necessarily done for height. Things like bounding, straight leg bounding, single leg bounds for distance, power skips done for distance. Doing things like this will get you more comfortable jumping while your center of mass is traveling forward. A problem that many people have with dunking is that they can't carry their speed into their jump. They can't combine the two. You don't even necessarily have to do all of these plyos for high jump heights. If you just get more comfortable with jumping after traveling forward, you're going to get better at dunking. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.